Hello, hello, hello there, my crafty beds. It's your crafty bed, Peggy, and welcome to Stormy's Imagination Station. Guys, we're going to have a little fun today. We're going to make some good old-fashioned stained glass hard candy. This is what I call it anyways. It looks like stained glass to me. Guys, this is a really quick, easy, well, not too quick, but quick enough, uh, cheap uh, recipe. When this is done, you break it all up. Uh, you can put this in powdered sugar, and it keeps it from sticking together. Or you can just let everybody re-crack it. Guys, to make this, uh, we're using something a little bit different on this for the flavoring. But here's the main ingredient right here. You're going to need two cups of sugar. You're going to need two-thirds cup of light corn syrup. Three-quarters cup of water. Your flavoring and some color. Now, guys, I don't have any of the flavored oils or essential oils or anything like that. So for my flavoring, I'm using good old-fashioned snow cone syrup. That's right, guys, and it works. This is so delicious, this candy right here. It's crunchy. Mm. And it is really, really tasty, you guys. You can taste that watermelon in there. Mmm. Super delicious. So guys, I'm going to take you over to the stove, and we're going to get cracking on yet another flavor and another color of this awesome stained glass candy. So come with okay, me. guys, we are over here at the stove, and um, in my pan here, I've got me a candy thermometer. Um, if you don't have a candy thermometer, you're going to have to really watch this recipe, get you a glass of cold water, set it next to you, and once it starts getting really thick, start testing it. Put just a little bit in the water. And if it gets uh, brittle and snaps, it's good. But you really don't want to overcook this, guys, because it will burn. Again, guys, this is two cups of sugar, two-thirds cup of light corn syrup. And, guys, on that, too, I just use the cheap stuff. I just get the, uh, the light corn syrup, the cheapest I can get right here. To me, corn syrup is corn syrup, you know? So, and then three-quarters cup of water. And all we're going to do is just stir this together. Oop, and try not to splash it all over you. Alright, that's mixed up real good. Now then we're going to turn on the heat. And I've got a gas stove, guys. And I'm putting mine on medium-high. Right, right in between high and medium is the heat that I use. Now as this starts cooking, guys, you're going to want to continuously stir this not real fast or nothing you can just give it a nice little stir until it hits 260 degrees on your candy thermometer once it does you can quit stirring but i you know keep stirring until it um hits 260 degrees um it also helps i think keep it from burning and stuff too and it keeps everything mixed up really nice so we're just going to stir it until it hits 260 degrees and then I'll get back with you. Um, I'll turn this back on as we're fixing to stop stirring and let it hit that 300. It'll go really, really fast after it hits uh, 260 degrees and you stop stirring it. You got to really look at it, get it right off the heat, add your color, your flavor and pour it. Guys, I have a, um, I'm just using a Rolston pan and I've just lined mine with parchment paper. It's the easiest thing that I have found on this. Um, you can just put it down on the pan if you got a nice aluminum one or something. And uh, this will come right up. But it's, it's kind of easier clean up that way too. Hey guys, just... we're coming along nicely. I just wanted to show you some of the process. We're really boiling. And you see I'm just kind of stirring like this. Again guys, please do not let the kids get near this. This would scorch their skin completely off. This is so hot. And guys, right now we are right outside of 240 degrees. I'm going to keep stirring it just like this until we hit 260 degrees. And then you don't have to stir it no more. It will get clear. And like I said, it goes really fast, guys. This is only like a 10 or 15 minute recipe anyways. Especially on a gas stove, we get good hot heat really quick. Um, I do not put my candy thermometer right dead on the bottom of the pan, too, guys. I leave a little gap between it and the pan bottom. 
Um, if you put it dead on the bottom of the pan, you can tend to get a false reading on these. And you really want this to the hard crack stage, and you do not want to over boil it, like I said, because you can burn this, and you, t you can taste it. You know, it looks um, a little darker when you pour it and stuff. It's got a black sheen to it, so you know then you burnt it, and you can probably smell it. I can't smell you guys, but I'm sure that it's got a scent to it uh, whenever it does. So anyways, I'm going to turn you back off until we hit 260, and I'll bring you back for the last of it, okay? All right, guys, you see how foamy we are now? We are almost ready. And every once in a while, what I do is I just kind of lightly push it toward my candy thermometer. So I make sure that my tip is all the way down there. It will start shrinking just a little bit as it cooks. But it's really thick in consistency, guys. Um, kind of like a good grave, milk gravy when it's starting to turn. You can feel it, you know, while you're stirring it. Now's the time to start checking it with your glass of water. If you don't have a candy thermometer, when it starts looking like this and starts feeling like gravy, start checking it. Because you do not want to overcook it. And as soon as that uh, little bit you put in the water strings and cracks, get it off the heat. Just turn the heat off. And we are at ready. 300 degrees, guys. We are ready. She's nice and thick. Not too thick, it kind of looks like this, but the feel. Y'all get what I mean with the spoon? Alright, so now what we're going to do is just add a few drops of our purple in. Is it open? <laughs> well, we just might not add a few drops of our purple in. I can't seem to get it. There it comes. <laughs> And then, guys, we're going to want to put in two tablespoons of whatever kind of uh, snow cone syrup that you're using. I've made watermelon already, uh, raspberry, and they are so good, you guys. Just put that in there like that. Get the candy thermometer out and give that a nice quick stir, okay, real fast. You see our color here that we're getting? Nice and light purple there. Really nice. Now, guys, I'm just going to take this over real fast and put it in my um, pan. Get all of that in there. All right, now I'm going to bring you guys over here with me. I hope we're going to try this. <laughs> All right. Let's see if you guys can see me here. All right, guys. Now, you see, I have poured this in my pan. And what I do, this is about what you'll get out of that. And what I do, guys, is just make sure my parchment paper's down in the corner. Again, do not touch this stuff, guys. I'm telling you, you will regret it. <laughs> and all I do is this. I just kind of roll it around like that. Make sure I get all the edges coated and stuff. Just like that. And then set it on a flat surface and let that sucker cool. Now, if you're going to cut it, like I said, wait for about five minutes or so and start testing it and if it's it's still um kind of pliable and stuff like that but not so hot you can't mess with it go ahead and take your butter knife and just cut it into like little squares and then let it cool guys i always just let mine sit out you can put it in the refrigerator let it cool and i i just slam the pan down and bust mine but if you're cutting it kids like i said and guys this is what it looks like does that not look like stained glass? Is that not the most fabulous stuff? I did watermelon, which this is really delicious, guys. And this is my blue raspberry. And guys, hear that crunch? That is super good. Guys, you can bag this up. Put a little ribbon around this with a little note that says Merry Christmas and your friends will love you for this homemade awesome treat. 
and it's cheap and easy and a lot of fun and everybody will love it and guys I had just started experimenting with the snow cone syrup and gave it a try and it came out perfect so that's why I'm sharing this with you guys so guys again the recipe is two cups of sugar two-thirds cup of light corn syrup three quarters cup of water your flavor and your color stir it till 260 then you don't have to stir it no more cook it till 300 degrees pour it put your flavorings in and stuff pour it let it cool and enjoy and guys from your old buddy here stormy happy thanksgiving and i hope you love this and until the next time be crafty be cool and i'll see you when i'm looking at you okay bye bye